The plant pictured here is in the genus Acalypha, commonly known as Acalypha or chenille plant. This genus has several species that are commonly grown for their unique flowers and others that are grown for their beautiful foliage. The size and form will vary depending on the species or cultivar. Some will be medium to large shrubs, like Acalypha hispida, pictured here. And this species can get up to around 6 feet tall or more. Other species will be smaller, like Acalypha comedrifolia and Acalypha herzogiana, which are commonly used in hanging baskets and containers. Acalypha pendula, pictured here, can even be used as a ground cover. You may also see them grown as a standard, where the central stem is stripped of leaves and flowers, leaving a round mass of foliage and flowers up on top. Sometimes these are called uh, balls on sticks. They look kind of like lollipops to me. Acalypha Acalypha leaves will be simple and alternate. And the leaf shape is generally chordate, ovate, or elliptic, with a dentate, serrate, or crenate margin. And the leaves are going to be bristly, almost resembling a nettle. The leaf size will vary by the species. Acalypha grown for flowers are dioecious, with male and female flowers on separate plants. The plants that you'll want to buy for flowers will be female. The inflorescences are long, pendulous, spicate catkins that are dark pink to bright red. They'll have a fuzzy or furry appearance due to the numerous tightly packed pistils. And here's a close up so you can see those pistils. Now I'll briefly show you Acalypha wilksiana, which even though it's not really grown for flowers, you will still commonly see it grown for its foliage. The leaves are going to be around 4 to 8 inches long, and they're going to be chordate with a serrate margin. They come in a variety of mottled or variegated color combinations of green, purple, yellow, orange, copper, crimson, pink or white. The multicolored leaves sometimes can resemble coleus or croton, uh, and these don't really have uh, significant flowers. Some cultivars may have brightly colored margins. And here's a nice lime green mottled cultivar. Acalypha likes bright light or full sun if you're in an area where you can grow it outdoors. It prefers a light, well-draining media that's kept moist but not too wet. You can prune larger species like Acalypha hispida back when the blooms start to fade, and this will promote bushiness and new flowers. The dwarf species may not need pruning, and in that case you can just remove the spent flowers. They're propagated easily by stem cuttings, tip cuttings, and leaf cuttings. Uh, and if you grow from seed, you might get the male plants, which you don't really want if you're growing them for the showy flowers. And this concludes our discussion of Acalypha, also known as Acalypha.